It's that. facing me right now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. I'm Brett, and I'm here with Regent Social Media Team. We are here in the Cybersecurity Simulation Lab. Check it out. You guys, if you've been following Regent Story for a while, you know that we opened this lab about a year ago. October will be the one year anniversary of our opening. And we have some great news from our cybersecurity program coming to you live right now. We are here with Cheryl Beauchamp, who um, will tell us a little bit about what happened this week. So, Cheryl, we had some big news yes, from our cyber program. Can you tell me a little bit about? what that was, what happened. I know, absolutely. It's very exciting. I think I actually squealed when I got the email. Um, so we've been working on completing out the application requirements for being recognized as a center of academic excellence in cyber defense education with the National Security Agency and Department of Homeland Security. And the program application is really extensive, quite rigorous. Uh, it actually, you have to have a mature program. And so when we launched our cybersecurity program, we knew it was a rigorous program. We knew it met industry needs. Um, so we wanted to make sure the nation knew that our program was as strong as we knew it was. So we knew that this designation would be one that would be a testament to what we have here at Regent. So we went to work on meeting the criteria requirements, um, learning about what we needed to submit, and we submitted this past spring. It was a long summer of fingers crossed, and we received the notification last week that they accepted it. And so we're part of the um, small, still small, but growing community of universities that have this designation from the NSA and DHS. So it's very exciting. So when you say any, um, NSA and DHS, you mean the NSA and DHS, right? Yes, yes the we big do. Guys? Yes, yes. Um, so they also recognize it's very important that we meet the needs of uh, industry and the national need and government to have graduates who have the skills in cybersecurity that are recognized and needed. And so how do we do that? We have universities have degree programs that are aligned with what has been recognized as the knowledge areas that um, they should have when they graduate. And so they uh, built out what they knew was needed and then the universities that can provide that and align with that uh, receive the designation. So it's very exciting for our students. Uh, I'm extremely excited because there are grants and scholarships that students can apply to that only, it's only eligible if they're in a NSA, CAE, CDE program. So that's tremendously exciting for me to, because there may be students who have some fi financial issues and this will open up some doors for them. Very cool. And it's so great that just a little less than a year after we open up this great simulation lab that we have this available and it's such a critical time in our nation to um, empower students to go out into the field and be cybersecurity leaders against all the data breaches we're seeing against those big companies that take us all by surprise quite frankly so what does it mean for you on a personal note to see something like the cybersecurity simulation lab and the cybersecurity program that you've worked so hard for get this recognition what does that mean to you on a personal note well, for me personally I am really I value the hands-on experience um, being to being able to learn the theory in books and be saying, oh, that's what it looks like is one thing, but to have it the next step, to actually touch it, that just to me is a confidence builder that they can go out and be, yes, I do have experience in cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. For every time that they touch hands-on opportunities, every competition that they participate in, anytime they're on the range or doing any of the CTF events that we're gonna be hosting here, that's an opportunity for them to just continue to build on skills and then that confidence that they can go forth when they're going to apply for a position to be able to say, yes, I am familiar with that. I do know what that looks like. To me, that is a testament to what we strive to do here at Regent. So cool. You can tell because your eyes just light up when you talk about it. it. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is huge. So great. Well, and I know there's something like 1.5 million jobs waiting for people to just take hold of after they graduate in the cybersecurity field. So for the next generation of cybersecurity leaders going out to the industry, what would you say to them? 
Yeah, so a lot of times you see the kids are on the devices, they're on Facebook, um, <laughs> but the it's kind of a passive experience. So to just to be take that curiosity to the next level and start interfacing with some things that are new to them and look at a Linux operating system because even just trying to build out a program in Linux or navigate around a Linux system that is tremendous skills that then they can then go into a class or out on a job and already have that understanding and knowledge so uh, uh, we at Regent support outreach efforts in the K through 12 um, okay. community with our cyber patriot mentoring and these opportunities enable us to support out that need in cybersecurity. I just attended the Virginia Cyber Security Education Conference out in Harrisonburg and just the number of people that are vested and interested mm -hmm. in making a difference in cybersecurity educational needs was it was very exciting and now I can go back and go look at what we've achieved and you know help others and other universities recognize what they need to do as well. Sounds so cool and so important to train up kids who, you know, don't know a lot about protecting their own data. Their and passwords. Yes. Protect your passwords. Yes. I mean, don't just make them one, two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> That's my basic cybersecurity knowledge. <laughs> so cool. Cheryl, thank you so much for talking with us today. Is there anything that you'd like to add just regarding the um, designation that we've just received or anything about the range? Uh, my biggest piece that I would like to share out is um, to go out and try to learn something new and mm -hmm. uh, be it cybersecurity, computer science or engineering, just especially with what we have available in the social media and on the internet and the World Wide Web. So if you have a question, be curious and go out and explore it. Perfect. That is a great note to end on. And Thank you all so much for joining us today. I'm gonna to say hi to my camera guys and everyone joining me here. You all, if you would like more information about Regent's cybersecurity program, go to www.regent.edu slash cyber to learn more. And we hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. Have a good one, bye.